Grammar 4, Chapter 20, Conditional Sentence and Wishes, Part 1. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to recognize basic verb forms used in conditional sentences, understand true in the present or future, understand untrue in the present or future, understand untrue in the past, and identify progressive verb forms in conditional sentences. Let's take a look at the basic verb form used in conditional sentences. In the situation, true in the present and future, the if clause is the simple present. The result clause will be the simple present. Examples. If I have enough time, I play soccer every afternoon. Will plus the simple form. The examples. If I have enough time, I will play soccer later on tonight. Untrue in the present or future. The if clause is simple past. The result clause. Would plus the simple form. The examples. If I had enough time, I would play soccer now or later on. Untrue in the past if clause is past perfect. The result clause would have plus past participle. For example, if I had enough time, I would have played soccer yesterday. True in the present or future. Let's take a look at this chart. A. If I don't eat lunch, I always get hungry during soccer practice. B. Oil freezes or will freeze if the temperature reaches 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. In conditional sentences that express true factual ideas in the present or future, the simple present, not the simple future, is used in the F clause. <clears throat> the result clause has various possible verb forms. A result clause verb can be, before we go on, let's look at C. If I don't play soccer tomorrow morning, I will get tired during class. So, this takes us back to the result clause, which has various possible verb forms. A result clause verb can be, 1. The simple present to express a habitual activity or situation, as in A. 2. Either the simple present or the simple future, to express an established, predictable fact or general truth, as in B. Number 3. The simple future to express a particular activity or situation in the future, as in C. Now let's take a look at D. If it snows, I should stay home. Other ways to say that, if it snows, I might decide to stay home. If it snows, we can't go. If it snows, we're going to stay home. Number four, modals and phrasal modals such as should, might, can, be going to, as in D. And let's take a look at E. If anyone knocks, please answer the door. This would be an imperative verb as in E. Number one, two, three, four, and five shows the different result clauses. F. If anyone should knock, please answer the door. Sometimes should is used in an if clause. It indicates a little more uncertainty than the use of the simple present, but basically the meaning of examples E and F are the same. Untrue in the present or future. Let's look at example A. If I taught this lesson, I would give quizzes. In A, in truth, I don't teach this lesson now. Let's look at B. If he were here right now, he wouldn't help us. In truth, he is not here right now. That's what it means. C. If I were you, I would decline their invitation. In C, in truth, I am not you. Note, where is used for both singular and plural subjects. Was, with I, he, she, or it, is sometimes used in informal. So let's compare. D. If I had enough money, I would buy a house. In D, the speaker wants a house, but doesn't have enough money. What expresses desired or predictable results? E. If I had enough money, I could buy a house. In E, the speaker is expressing one possible result. Could equals would be able to. Could expresses possible options. Untrue in the past. Let's look at A. If you had told me about the problem, I would have helped you. In A, in truth, you did not tell me about it. Let's look at B. They had studied, they would have passed the exam. In B, in truth, they did not study, therefore, they failed the exam. C. If I hadn't slipped on the stairs, I wouldn't have broken my arm. In C, in truth, I slipped on the stairs. I broke my arm. Note. The auxiliary verbs are almost always contracted in speech. If you'd have told me, I would have helped you. Compare. D. If I had had enough money, I would have bought a car. In D, would expresses a desired or predictable result. E. If I had had enough money, I could have bought a car. In E, could expresses a possible option. Could have... Bought equals would have been able to buy.